All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to show you how to calculate determinants using row reduction. Because yes, Bomberman is cool, and I would just do it with Bomberman, but uh, computationally it's very inefficient. So you notice taking determinants using cofactor expansions that takes too much time and ain't nobody got time for that. So the question is then you may ask, well, how would a computer do this or how can we do it more efficiently? And we do that using row reduction. So for example, let's calculate the determinant of 0, 3, 6, 1, 5, minus 2, 1, 2, minus 4. And I want to show you the effect of each elementary row operation to this. So, first of all, let me show you what happens in the first row. Let me show you what happens if you multiply uh, a row by a certain number. Notice we can divide this row by 3. And what the determinant does, it just pulls out this 3 from the determinant. So this becomes 3 times 0, 1, 2, 1, 5, minus 2, 1, 2, minus 4. All right, now, of course, you could just subtract this row from this row, but let me show you what happens if you flip two rows. If you flip two rows, weirdly, it gives you a minus in front of the determinant. So this then becomes minus 3, 3 times 1, 5, minus 2, 0, 3, 6, and 1, 2, minus 4. And here comes a cool thing. So those were sort of the exceptional operations. The third one is more common, adding a multiple of one row to the other. And it turns out if you add a multiple of one row to the other, it doesn't do anything to the determinant. It does diddly squat. So in particular, if you subtract this row from this row, it does nothing. So the determinant is still the same. Kind of cool. So you get one, five, sorry, why is this three, six here? One, two. Um, so you get one, five, minus two, zero, one, two, and then zero, minus three, and then, um, my, sorry, two, six, minus two, sorry. I don't know what's wrong. Uh, so two minus four is minus two. Yes, okay. <laughs> I am saying. And then, now you want to add 3 times this row to this row. And again, it doesn't do anything to the determinant. So this is kind of cool. The thing you do most doesn't affect the determinant at all. So then what you get is simply minus 3 times 1, 5, minus 2, 0, 1, 2. And you get uh, 0, sorry. 0, 0, 6 minus 2, which is 4. Right. And now, if you like, you can do Bomberman, but notice it's an upper triangular matrix, and the determinant of an upper triangular matrix is simply the product of the entries on the diagonal. So the answer is then minus 3 times 1 times 1 times 4, and that's minus 12. So you see, without using Bomberman and just using row reduction, we calculated that determinant. So pretty neat, but again, I, I like Bomberman, so <laughs> it's up to you what you want to, what you prefer. Uh, Alright, so if you like that and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.